Hi class, we're, we're now on 9.3, we're on day 2 of 9.3. We just got done graphing rational equations, and now we're going to be determining their domain and range. So I don't expect any difficulty with this lesson, because we've done domain and range a lot this year. Now we're just going to be doing it on a whole new graph. I don't think it should be too difficult, though. So for this first one, we see our rational graph. We see how we have a vertical asymptote here at x equals a negative 3. I think that's pretty easily seen. And it looks like we also have a horizontal asymptote at x equals 0. So now just looking at this, what is our domain? How far left does this blue line go? And how far right does this blue line go? So as you can see, it starts way over here at negative infinity. And now how far to the right does it go? It goes as far as right there. Right at 3, or at negative 3, that's when my x values stop. But now they pick up right again. Once I can find my green line, what just happened? We'll do that. So now it goes from negative infinity to a negative 3. And then it picks right back up again on the other side of negative 3, way up on the top. And then it goes forever to the right. So it really goes from negative infinity all the way to positive infinity, except for negative 3. So here's how we write that. I always like to start off with interval notation. It starts at negative infinity. And then how far does it go? It goes till a negative 3. Does it include negative 3? No, it does not. So we're going to put a parenthesis there. Now, that's not all the x values we have. So when we have more x values, we have a union. And then it picks up on the other side of negative 3. So it doesn't include negative 3 again. So that's why we have a parenthesis. And then it goes all the way to positive infinity. So that's what we're looking at for that one. For our domain, that is when we have x such that x. Now if you look at this one, here's the way I want you to write it. Like I said, it basically goes from negative infinity all the way to positive infinity, except it doesn't include one number. It doesn't include a negative 3. So that's exactly what I want you to write. I want you to include, I want you to write x such that x belongs all the real numbers, except for 1 x cannot equal a negative 3. So that's how I want you to write that. x such that x belongs all real numbers, except x cannot equal a negative 3. So now for our range. How low does this blue line go? It goes on forever and ever and ever, right? It starts at negative infinity. And now, as we follow it as it goes up, it now stops at 0. But then it picks up on the other side of 0, just above it, and then it goes all the way to positive infinity. So this one, very similar, goes from negative infinity to positive infinity, except it doesn't include 0. So the way we write that is it starts at negative infinity. It goes till 0. We have a parenthesis C because it's not going to include 0. Now we're going to have a union. It goes from 0 to positive infinity. It doesn't include 0 once again, so that's why we have our parenthesis right here. So for our range, we say that y such that y, once again, it belongs all the real numbers, except for 1. Except x, or sorry, y, make sure you put y there, y cannot equal 0. Okay, so this is the very basic domain and range of our rational graphs, and basically all of them today have this kind of a look. So they'll all be very similar. We're always going to have parentheses right here because they'll never equal our asymptotes. They approach them but never equal them. So that's why we'll always have parentheses there. And we're almost always going to have all real numbers for these except for one, which is that vertical asymptote. So looking at this one, from negative infinity, where does it stop? It stops at 0. Just to let you know, class, I'll always have an integer. You'll never have to go like 1.5 or 2.7 or something like that. They're always going to be a nice integer number. So this goes from negative infinity to 0, and then from 0 to positive infinity. Negative infinity to 0. Union, 0 to positive infinity, which means that x such that x belongs all the real numbers belongs, all reals, except x cannot equal 0. So now for my y-axis, this goes infinitely down, and this goes infinitely up, which means that it starts at negative infinity, 
it goes all the way up till right here, till 1. When y equals 1, I do not have a range. And then it picks up on the other side of 1, and it goes to positive infinity. So my range is from a negative infinity all the way to a positive 1. I have a union. From 1, it goes to positive infinity, which means y such that y belongs all the real numbers, except y cannot equal a positive 1. Two left for the day. Next one, a little bit crazy, but we do the exact same thing. We say that it goes from a negative infinity. How far to the right does it go before it has to stop? It stops right here at a vertical asymptote at a negative 4. And then we continue onward, and we go to here up till a positive 3. It stops again. And then on the other side of a positive 3, it continues, and then it goes on forever and ever and ever. So it goes from a negative infinity, and then it stops at a negative 4. So we're going to have a parenthesis there. We have more x values, so that means we have a union. We go from a negative 4, and we go as far right as a positive 3. We have to stop there, so we're going to parenthesis. But we still have more, so we're going to have another union. And then we go from a positive 3 all the way to infinity. So now for this particular one, what we're going to have is we're going to have x such that x for our set notation belongs all the real numbers except for two of them. x cannot equal a negative 4, and x cannot equal a positive 3 x cannot equal a negative 4, and x cannot equal a positive 3. Let's look at our range. We have a horizontal asymptote right here at the x-axis, which is y equals 0. So I start at a negative infinity, and I go up to here. And then I have a union where I'm going to go then to positive infinity. So my range from a negative infinity up to 0 union 0 to positive infinity. So my range is y such that y belongs all the real numbers except for 1. y cannot equal the number 0. Why don't you guys try the last one on your own? Pause the video, try number 4. So for this one, you should have gotten a negative infinity all the way up to a positive 3. Union 3 to positive infinity, which means that x such that x belongs all the real numbers, except x cannot equal a positive 3. For the range, you should have gotten a negative infinity all the way till 0, and then you have a union because on the other side of 0 it picks up again and it goes to positive infinity going up which means that our range is y such that y belongs all the real numbers except for 1, y cannot equal 0. So that is the very basics of the domain and range of these rational graphs. They're not going to get too much more difficult than this. We might try one or two in class altogether just to get a little bit more practice as well. So for our homework assignment, we are going to have our same worksheet, which is 9.3. Now we're going to add the domain and the range to each one of those graphs that we did previously. Let me know if you have any questions on that.